Let's recap your weekend with the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. What do you mean? What do you, how, how do you, I, how how you I feel? dealt with it? Yeah, you, re- oh, okay. you recap. You recap. How, oh, how you, you recap. You, oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, you recap. I misunderstood. Yeah, you um, recap your weekend with your Chiefs. So I do not believe in blaming the officials, uh, and I will not in this case. I understand the anger towards them, though, from Mahomes and Andy. And everyone, in my opinion, including, you know, t- recently, I think the commissioner is missing the anger. The anger is not Kadarius Tony was not lined up off sides. The anger was, as credit to Dan Orlovsky, as he pointed out, he was lined up offside six times in that exact spot throughout the game. The next night on Monday Night Football, Jalen Waddle a couple times was lined up offsides. We we saw this. There is a reason that Andy had coached 25,172 plays prior to that one. It had never been called because either the refs don't care about it or when they first see it, they do give you a warning. And you then adjust. And I uh, folks rolled their eyes at that. And the analogous NFL situation that I would use is we watch every week football, the play clock, get to zero. You could take a screenshot. It's at zero. The ball is not snapped. But everyone understands for some weird reason, you actually get like zero minus 0.7 seconds. Like you get an extra beat to snap it. If you have been operating like that the entire game and then a team with a minute left, the moment it goes zero, you throw the flag and you're like, hey, rules are rules. I would understand the frustration. And lastly, because there is, I think, a bit of misinformation out there because the NBC broadcast after the game, they were like, yeah, it was called once two years ago, twice last year, but it's been called 11 times this year. It's a point of emphasis this year. That's wildly misleading because I looked it up. Prior to this week's football, it had been called 11 times. Eight of them were on offensive linemen in those tush-push situations where lining up a little offsides is a massive advantage, and that is a different, unique circumstance. It had been called three times on wide receivers all year. So I get the frustration, and I also, I'm old enough to remember Tom Brady streaking after officials into the tunnel on Monday Night Football. Like, competitive guys can get fired up and upset. So I, I'm i not mad at Mahomes about it. And I think I think I'm the last one left that the Chiefs will be fine. But I it was a tough circumstance paired with the previous week when everyone agreed it was pass interference and the Chiefs took the high road to a man on. Yeah, I give Mahomes a whole pass. Not that he needs one from me. But, you know, in the moment, this play is erased. He's not quite sure why it's erased. Uh, you know, he's angry. There's passion. Um, I'm not sure why they didn't call it the other times. Um, uh, the fact that you don't look over and you check with the official just so he can give you acknowledgement, uh, which he didn't do. It's a do. mistake. Yes. It's a total mistake, and the Chiefs have to own it. And it is a symptom of the overall bigger thing that has plagued them all year, which is wide receiver lack of attention to detail. You know what I mean? So that's why, and I should say this just to be fair, I think they the defense had been playing great after the first couple of drives. I think they would have stopped the Bills, but that would it wasn't four seconds left in the game. It was a minute 15. They would have been up four. So the Bills could have driven down the field and still won the game. So there are other factors there. And yes, the Chiefs need to be sharper about it. But this whole the the immediacy of, oh my God, it was an obvious call. You have to make that call. That's nonsense. That's still, I think, folks upset about how the Super Bowl ended who think the Chiefs owe the league multiple calls throughout the course of the season. Maybe. I understand the Chiefs with the interference uh, at Lambeau. But, you know, there are a couple other things. Imagine if Kelsey throws that ball or it gets knocked down what would we be talking about in that moment? Because you're in field goal range right there. So he'd yeah. be throwing that ball and almost got knocked down. The other part of it that's more alarming for me is if you watch Tony, first of all, you don't need to be all the way up on the line of scrimmage. You're not going to the end zone. He only went 10 yards and did it down and out. And then he's open and Mahomes doesn't throw and he gestures back like, and then his head goes down and then he stops. And then Travis has this unbelievable play. He's wide open, then he goes into the end zone. 
the body language with Tony was more disturbing, and and he has not played well. And there's no. a reason why the Giants gave up on him. So that would be a, a bigger issue with that. If you look at him and the body language on that play, he would get credit for being a heads-up play, but really it wasn't. You don't think he knew Travis was going to do that and was playing possum? Like, no. Oh, I'm going to get him. No, yeah. <laughs> um, they're not going to pay attention to me right now if I look like I'm angry at Mahomes. 5D chess. Um, no, I totally agree with you. Yeah. I mean, the and listen, I I will say this. I I am shocked at the amount of revisionist history that's going on with the Tyree kill trade right now. They won the Super Bowl. They were the highest scoring team. They had the league MVP. They scored 38 in the Super Bowl. And it allowed them to build out this defense. I would do that trade again. But I would also be lying if I didn't say I watched Monday Night Football and watched DeAndre Hopkins be the best player on the field at various points yeah. and say that would have been nice. Yeah. Like the, you know what I mean? And he was available, was not so crazy expensive. They could have made that work. They chose to want to prioritize the development of Tony Sky Moore and the kid who I think is excellent, Rasheed Rice, the kid they drafted this year. They wanted them to get the snaps. They wanted them to get the reps. So they didn't go prioritize an aging wide receiver. That does appear to be a mistake. There's no way around it.